overlanding is becoming a very popular thing. And building vehicles capable of overlanding is becoming very huge as well. Enthusiast groups for overlanding are becoming popular all over the country. I have a local group here called the Des Moines 4x4 Adventure Group. I have not been to one of their meetups yet, but that's what I'm planning on doing today. Today I'll be taking my M109 A3 converted motorhome. This is the shop van version of the M35 A2. I'm sure there'll be conversions of other types down there. This event is an hour and a half from where I'm at right now, so it's going to take me a little time to get down there. But these trucks are actually a joy to drive on the road, especially taking the back highways. Let's get down to the adventure meetup and see what's going on. Okay, I ran into my buddy Earl, and he's got his really cool mini here. I think these are, what, 28-inch tall tires? Yep, 28. How, how in the world did you get these on here? We uh, got a Bilstein state, Stage 3 uh, shock setup and suspension setup from, uh, it was an M1 Speed. M1 Speed, It's they sell BMW parts and stuff. They sell a lot of mini parts. Uh, they sell lift kits for the Countryman, the Paceman, and the newer Countrymans, and uh, smaller minis. So. so this is a tried and tested system oh, yeah. that you can just buy and bolt on yourself? Yeah. Well, if you if you got the knowledge, you can bolt it on yourself, yeah. And you, did you have to trim the fenders to fit this? Not at all, not at all. So just everything it. else uh, body-wise is stock? Yep, and, and, and the, uh, it's a, it's a two-and-a-half-inch two block that's up in the top of it. Okay. And they put, uh, well, it's a two inch, I think, or inch and a half, and then it, the bottom has a two inch or something. They on both sides. I had to install that many. And when you're off, when you're not off road, how does this handle? Great. It handles great. Is it smoother, softer? It's about the same as stock. It's actually smoother than stock because of the tire, the tire sponge. It, it, it creates a sponge effect. So. Do you notice anything weird in the corners? No, not at all. Okay. Cool. Thanks for showing yeah, us. Yeah, no doubt. Good to see. Yep. Well, Earl decided to actually let me drive this car, so we'll see what it's like. One thing I noticed already before I've even pulled out of the driveway is I hear some noise from the suspension in the back. I don't know if uh, it's always been that way, if, if uh, there's something rubbing back there. But other than that, it feels like a normal Mini so far. Okay, here's a dirt road. This is something that you normally wouldn't do with a modern Mini. This is actually a level B road, which means this is an unmaintained road. It's up to the farmers that live on the road to grade it and take care of it. Let's see how the Mini does. some suspension noise now from the front as well as the rear and I think the ride is a little bit harsher than you would get in a normal SUV but this Mini is just soaking up this road okay here's a few bumps coming up here let's see how it likes it oh yeah no problem Get a little bit more speed. The car does tend to wander a little bit down the road. I think that's due to the short wheelbase. 
it's definitely a car that you could drive in adverse conditions if you live somewhere where you get a lot of snow or you do have a lot of dirt roads that you need to drive by maybe this is a conversion that you'd want to make well this was a nice little get together for people to come and show off their rigs and hunt them out and i'll see you next time